It was October 20th of 2018 and I was doing my very first trip alone in India to this small town called Ampi. It's an historical town full of old temples and incredible landscapes. Honestly, it's one of my favorite places in India. And as some of you might know, I was doing a semester abroad at IIT Madras and that was the first time that I actually got out of the campus on my own to explore the country. And so during that weekend, I committed myself to make my very first vlog. And I actually did it. You can still watch it. I will link it down below. And in fact, it is still one of my favorite videos to date. But that video actually doesn't tell the whole story. I left this episode out. So this is the story of one of the biggest mistakes I have ever made in my life. It was my third and last day in Ampi and I was going to get on a bus back to Chennai the following day. But since it was my last day there, I decided to take a boat to cross the Tungabhadra river to explore a bit of the other side. And it was amazing, I rented a motorbike and I saw some of the most incredible landscapes I've ever seen. At some point I passed by this portion of the river where there was this kind of dam and so the water was very calm and almost like a lake and there was this rock about five or six meters high from where people were jumping to the water. So I went there and there was this big group of Indians. They were not locals, they were from some big city that I can't remember, probably Bangalore and some of them couldn't swim, so they were jumping with those inflatable life jackets. But for some reason, some of them were jumping without a life jacket and were counting on the others to get them out of the water. And I actually saw some of them doing that without any problems. I also jumped like two or three times, I don't remember. And it was nice, it was high enough that it could feel a bit of adrenaline. The water was super fresh, so I stayed there for a while. And at some point, one of the Indian boys that was there came to me and said, can I jump and then you help me to get out of the water? And this is where it gets very stupid. Again, I had seen them doing this before, it didn't seem risky. I was a swimmer for more than 12 years, so I'm pretty comfortable with water. And also, I just had to push him like, three or four meters from the place where he dived to the shore so he could get out of the water. So I simply said, yeah, sure, no problem, let's do it. So I jumped first and waited for him to jump. He was a bit afraid, but after two or three minutes, it jumped and, uh, and he went for a front flip. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was going on in his head. And I remember to think, Okay, you can't swim, but you're going for a front flip. Okay, sounds like a good idea. So he goes for the front flip. Everyone on the rock is super excited, just screaming. And this is when it gets very scary. Immediately after he dived, I just saw his hands sticking out of the water, asking for help. So I just swam in his direction. And once I got there, he instantly grabs me and gets my arms stuck to a point where I could only use my feet. And you can't imagine how difficult it is to keep someone that is the same height and the same weight as you at the surface when all he's doing is grab you super tight in the hope that you will be able to paddle for both of you. For me, it looked like an eternity, but according to the GoPro footage, it lasted for about 30 seconds. And during those 30 seconds, probably the scariest 30 seconds of my life, all I could do was paddle as strongly as possible to keep him at the surface while I was underwater without breathing and being slapped because he was completely in panic. I couldn't communicate with him, I couldn't ask for help, and for some moments I thought, is this hit? I'm going to drown here in this river, trying to save a stranger. And so after like 20 seconds, some of his friends noticed that we were in trouble and came to help me. 
and who knows what would have happened if we were alone. Honestly, I, I don't want to think about that. All I know is that they came and helped me to calm him down and only then I was able to put my heart under him and swam on my back so that I could push him towards the margin of the river. Thank you so much, sorry, we won't do it again. It was so difficult. It was so difficult to save After that, I was completely in shock with what had happened. I was breathing like I had run a marathon. And I remember that I immediately packed my stuff and drove to a different spot because I didn't want to be there. This was probably one of the biggest lessons I've ever had. That is, never take responsibility for someone's life, especially in stupid situations like this where all he wanted was to jump into the water. It's not worth the risk. And I know that some of you will say in the comments that I was completely immature and that I should have been more thoughtful. And, and I assumed that. I didn't question how difficult and how dangerous it was. And I'm just so grateful that everything worked out in the end and that both of us were okay. I was really on the fence about making this video because I don't really like to think about those moments. It is some of the scariest memories of my life, but I felt like there was a message here and hopefully you'll think twice before you engage in doing something that is dangerous or risky. There's no need to take risks. There's so much out there that you can do without taking risks. So please don't commit yourself to do something that can put your life in danger. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share today. I hope everyone is safe and, uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.